Last night, Star Wars Hunters got a brand new update, and whilst there wasn't any content added to the game, there were some notable balancing changes, so I thought I'd go over them for you in this clip. The most notable one is probably Xena. She had her primary attack buffed, which I personally didn't think was necessary, but it has been buffed anyway, and then her sticky bomb damage has gone up, which is actually quite nice, and then her back to bomb has also had an increase in the health given, which I actually am a big fan of this change. Whilst I haven't tried Xena out just yet after this update, I am really keen to give her a go. Scorer's self heal activation has doubled in its time, in an attempt to keep her at a longer range heal. Amara Vex's enhanced targeting buff has also been increased, which I personally also don't think is necessary, however it will be interesting to see how she plays. Slingshot, as noted here, was pretty OP in terms of his arena speed whilst holding the hut ball, so that has been reduced. By how much, it's not clear but I'm sure it will be felt in-game. J3DI's also had his pull ability cooldown increased, as to not make it so quick. And finally, Sprocket has been nerfed in quite a lot of areas. His blaster turret damage has gone down as it was pretty damn powerful, and then his med droid as well is giving out slightly less health as well. Be sure to subscribe to my main channel to catch all of my longer videos and live streams.